Um, what's up? Welcome to another unnamed episode. Um, this is a news episode. For those of you who don't know, Meow Mix got canceled. Wah, wah. Um, we are listening to the Objectives who are playing tonight at the Kraken along with Trash Sound Conglomerate, who I will play at some point. If you would like more calendar stuff, the calendar episode is up. Um, this is an adults-only show. I will be consuming adult beverages and adult consumables during this show. Um, I'm talking about adult stuff with adult words, so if you're a kid, get the fuck out. Um, what? Fuck around. Find out. Uh, our top story is it's raining in Seattle. It might actually have stopped. I always kind of joke that our top story it's raining in Seattle. It rains approximately 150 days a year, so that's never really a, a news item. It's often raining here. Um, my top story is I did a thing. I ran my first 5K, and I did it. I ran the whole thing. Um, I'm really proud of myself, and I'm going to talk a little bit about it. And, um, and it's not a big thing. Um, it, it is uh, a 5K is something you can do even if you think you have a heart condition. And no, I'm sorry. Don't take my advice. I am not a medical professional. Opinions I express are purely my own. Um, I like having been worried this last couple months that I'm having some kind of heart thing going on. It's like I will run a 5K. Not even like having a full conception of how long exactly 5k is um and having not run in like months and months and months this is also the subjectives with henry rollins school of menacing um and so I just randomly decided, am I really going to get up at 9 in the morning on a Saturday and go run with a bunch of people I don't know? Yes. Yes, I did, and I had a great time. Um, so this was for Providence Health Elder Care, and so that was what we were raising money for, um, which is a good cause, you know, help people who can't afford their their, um, their care later in life. We uh, raised $50,000. Um, Yeah, no, like I said, having not trained in any way or having and having not even run. I mean, I do, I will run maybe two or three blocks at a time with my dogs, but Daisy's legs are pretty short. She can't make it very far. Um, she actually can, but in, especially in the winter time, she's like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm too small. I, I can't do anything. Uh, um... It was cold. I wore exactly this. I did have a windbreaker that I did end up wearing for the first leg of the race. Um, my plan, which I stuck to, and I'm happy I did, was to find a comfortable pace and just stay at it. Some of the people I was pacing myself against started to get ahead of me, and I, you know, there's that moment, am I going to feel discouraged? Am I going to feel um, competitive? Which I... I am oddly competitive. I don't think of myself as competitive, but I am oddly competitive. Um, <laughs> in particular, I get small children who are much faster than me. Like, I'm like, nah, I can't. Uh, so some of them were on scooters, so that's not fair. But still, I'm like, oh my god, there's like a four-year-old beating me. Um... But no, so I kept to the same pace. I didn't speed up. I didn't feel, com I didn't, I made the choice not to feel competitive. I made the choice just to keep going at the speed that I'm going. Um, and I'm really glad I Because some of the people who outpaced me, I, I ended up seeing them walking. Um, and one guy, and not to be like, oh, I see I'm pacing you too, or maybe you're competitive. Um, 
I ran past him. He was walking, and then he started running again. Um, but then he had to start walking again. He didn't actually pass me that time. But, yeah, no. My goal was to pace myself. My goal was to run the whole time, which I did. Um, not fast. I, did, I think I did a 5K in about half an hour. Um, I know. I know. Um, but I finished in a cadence that counts as running. Like, my legs were being picked up. If people were walking faster than I was running, then no, I was running. Um, it's funny. So then at the end, so one of the reasons I chose to do this particular event is because I'm going to play something by the Drolls off of that Puget Sound, even though they are not playing tonight. This is alternate timeline. No, I am the seven inch of this as well. Is it why that's not coming there? Because I have the seven inch of this as well. Um, my records but I didn't do a very good job so I'm still yeah I really didn't do a very good job okay Ugh. that's okay it's a work in progress um, this doesn't feel like it's at the right speed but my, my record player is variable um, so one of the reasons I signed up for the race was because they, they, uh, the option was uh, male, female, and non-binary. I didn't realize those were the categories. And so then when they're announcing like the winners, they're like, and in the non-binary category, and I'm like, wait a minute. Um, I, no, I was, again, I, half hour 5K is not a thing. Um, I will say back to I paced myself. When I realized that the checkpoint was only halfway, I, I did feel myself slowing down. I think I mentioned to my dad, there was this woman, she just kind of like, she was running faster than me, but came up behind me. So I suspect she was actually doing a 10K. Like she'd already, I saw several people who had already done it, who I recognized doing it again. And I suspect she was one of them, but she just gave me this look like, like, I don't know, just keep going. Or like, didn't say anything at all. But she was clearly like, and it was almost like, don't let people like me who are going super fast in aggro get you down. You're doing fine for you. Like, I don't know, she communicated quite a lot through her eyes, or maybe she wasn't thinking any of this at all. Maybe she was like, get out of my way, slowpoke. Who knows what she was thinking? But her eyes were kind, and that was motivating enough. Also, then, like, I did, yeah, like I said, I slowed down when I realized, like, oh my gosh, there's only half pay, halfway. And maybe that was conserving energy. Maybe that was like, okay, let me regroup. But then, because when I got to the three-quarter mark, I was like, let go, and I sped up again. Um, I did a thing. I can't believe I did a thing. Um, shout out to the woman I talked to about the... Uh, Donut relay, which I missed. I did. I wanted to get that on tape, but I, I apparently missed it. Um, 
So they announced the non-binary winners, not surprisingly. Um, one of them was a teenager. Uh, and I was like, and I was disappointed. I was like, I was actually like, I, I do what I guess apparently what we all do now when we don't get the election results we anticipate, we question them. Wait a minute, how many non-binary folks are there here? I might, but no, it was only, they only had first and second place. Maybe I was third, but yeah, I don't know. Um, suddenly, like I said, I don't think of myself as a competitive person, but suddenly the opportunity to maybe win or be second in my first 5K ever, like maybe like, hey, wait a minute, but no, I, I did not, I do not, I am not. Um, this is Cave Town with Devil Town might be my favorite Cape Town song ever. It's so unlike every other Cape Town song off of this limited edition pink. Um, Cape Town's self-titled. Is this their debut, I believe? Players in moody mode. It's okay. It's a little bit. It's a little tired today. Um, there was a student art show at Gage from five to eight last night. I wanted to go. It's the final one at Capitol Hill. Where are they moving to? By the way, it, I believe somewhere else on Capitol Hill. But it's the final. It was a final student show and sale. Like you could buy the art. Um, I did want to go to that, but I didn't make it. Um, I, I will say, did I say Cape Town is playing tomorrow at the Woodland Park Zoo? Again, if you're interested in like what's going on in Seattle, you can check out my um, calendar dedicated episode. We will get to News of the World shortly. Um, no, no, right now. Um, hold on. But, but yeah, if I were going to do a thing, I'm glad I did this thing. Um, So this is me before, this is me before the race, and this is me after. And you can see like what kind of skies it is. It's, it's partly cloudy, partly sunny, uh, but yeah, no, I am, I am, I, I, I'm still smiling. I thought I was going to throw up, literally, um, I, I was getting really phlegmy. Like the first thing I did when I got back is I had been just like wiping my nose, I had to blow some snot rockets, and I... I know that people don't like that, um, and I get it. Like I'm old school. Like I, I've never been an old school punk. Like gobbing, it's okay to spit on a human. Like that used to be a thing in the '90s. That I was, I have always been like, uh-uh, that's no, you don't do that. That's and literally, like spitting on a band you like to show your affection. No, thank you. Um, but. Fitting on a sidewalk and not unselfconsciously like not being called out on it, just like spit. I, yeah, I'm still indifferent to that, but I understand people have different sensitivities. But I had no choice. I wasn't slowing down. I wasn't, and I was like, yeah. In any event, um, just because I had like wiped my, I, I got back. I was like hand sanitizer. <laughs> uh,
Um, start and stop it again. If I can wake my record player up. Um, this is Talk to Me by Cape Town. Oh, and the B-side to it. It's not an etching, but it's just a screen. Or is it? A, I, don't, I don't know what that is. I think it's just a screen. Print. Hmm. Why aren't there more screen prints? I guess because etching is not true. Well, if you can only free, afford three sides and you can't afford an etching, you can screen print that shit. Or two sides. Or one side, I guess. As the case may be. Have I not ever noticed the deer? Like, I. That's just very literal. Deer, do you get. Like, okay, my. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> That was it. You don't have to be anybody you can ever be. Um, for those keeping score, that was literally a cassette. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Technologically sophisticated. Um, I am going to get to the news in a minute, but I, apparently I need some preparation. I don't know. Um, I am still debating whether I'm going to go out to the subjective. As, oh, the sun's back out. Um, it is not raining. Breaking news: It is not raining in Seattle. Um, yeah, but no. One of the organizers of the race was like, "Well, we were prepared for thunderstorms, and thank the volunteers who've been out here since 6 a.m." And now I want to play Devil Town again. Um, no, that's that version. That's that version. So 
Give me one second. Okay, let's do this. Um, this is the box by Roddy Rich. I really do want to play Devil Town again. I might. Uh, no apologies if I play Devil Town again in this in this episode. I might wait at least until it's on a different CD. I might not, though. Um, that whole song. Like a little shit, mother. I got pink slip up my weak skin. 
Uh, all right, let's get into it. Um, um, SCOTUS rules on bump stocks, which are have been banned since 2017. In a Trump era rule, he that well, it was um, the Bureau of Alcohol and Tobacco who actually made the decision that bump stocks effectively converted automatic weapons into machine guns which have been illegal since 1986. Um, what's interesting is Trump is now saying he did nothing on guns and that's not true. Bump stocks were banned during his presidency. This still isn't the story it could be or should be but mostly because Biden doesn't want to be like or yeah <laughs> he's not so great on guns because they would obviously still prove he will almost certainly always be greater on guns he'll go speak at the NRA when Biden will not so that's a non-starter as an argument but if his argument is I did I, I nothing happened to guns while I was president no actually bump stocks went away um, but in a 6-3 SCOTUS ruling that aligns with previous gun rulings and aligns with their six right-wing supermajority. Um, yeah, they ruled to, so you can buy bump stocks again. Um, grab them up while you can. You know what I mean? Um, Sotomayor says this will have deadly consequences. I agree. Um, I really do feel like I need to join my my John Brown club. Oh Lord, just made another one. I'm in the red. I'm just, I'm just going to keep saying, hmm, without actually playing anything forever. This is Hot Girl Bummer by Black Bear. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Leave me alone. It's my show. Uh, that sounds a lot like Bill Ellis. I have I heard Meg Thee Stallion does not like this song, which she sees as a kind of a parody of her own music. We'll play some Meg next. Oh. Oh. 
Um, according to Reuters, eight Israeli soldiers killed in uh, during fight as fighting continues in Um Trump says some shit about Milwaukee. Biden's now campaigning on it and creating merchandise. Trump says he has he, he can't be racist because he has many black friends. I'm not even address that as it, it, that's. You can have many black friends and be racist. I'll just, I, I, period. Um, according to court records, um, Serena Williams is indeed on Trump's frequent call list, according to an Excel that was created at, at the request um, by an executive secretary, um, as is Joe Scarborough, which is both surprising and not surprising. Because probably, I don't know if Maggie Haberman is, but I wouldn't be surprised. And then in completely unrelated news, and I don't know why I'm doing, no, I'm not doing this now. I'm going to add this goes into uh, the entertainment news. Yeah. Um, um, if you like Black Bear, oh, I don't know how I was going to finish that sentence. I, I do too. Yeah. Uh, Let's not be ashamed. Let's let's be proud. Okay, um, the theme of this episode is actually cops behaving badly, and we'll get to that in a moment. But because I just saw Schaefer the Dark Lord and uh, MC Lars, a sub theme of various episodes has been white rappers, and so that's okay. We're still in the Lars after 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 party era. Um, this is which bit? Oh, am I gonna play Cobain? Uh, I think I am actually. This is um, no. I've been waiting the original version. Um, this is Cobain followed by Witchblades by Lil Peep. Oh, I am going to play Mega the Stallion next door. All right, so my dad just had a New York a comment published in the New York Times around fake journalism involving my grandfather and essentially, uh, yeah, airing some dirty family dirty laundry, but he doesn't give a shit. Um, mostly in the interest of acknowledging how shady uh, the media also is. My dad also admitted on a recent episode of the show that his guilty pleasure is reading the physical copy of the New York Post, which he thinks is garbage, mindless entertainment. Um,
Um, this is Witch Blades by Lil Peep. Am I wrong? Um, are the little girl okay? What is current ASL for fuck around and find out? Because are those little girls on Instagram right? Is it do? I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I I'm not going to pretend I know people who currently use ASL as their primarily mode of communication. Um, but do they just use the, that? Would that would track as well? Um, and like around does yeah around. I, yeah, there are a few ways you could do that, but yeah. Um, I know you want to FaceTime, but baby, I got Samsung is the best line I've ever heard in my entire life. I'm not down with that. Have I not heard this song before? This is uh, Walk Away as the Door Slams Acoustic. Everybody's Everything. 
Um, but before that was Witchblade and Cobain. Um, R.I.P. Love. Okay, do I file this under rap or emo? I'm literally, I'm asking. Um, I'm kidding. I filed it under white rappers. Um, that's, mm, I'm like, that's not actually a category. Um, this is gentlemen rogues, just like bands in the. Oh no! Wait, is this on t this isn't on top four, is it? Um, Double helix record. Yeah, bands in the uh, subjective sicko universe, the E universe. Um, isn't a category of music, but it is a category in my record collection. Uh, thanks for watching or listening. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, labeling both sides surface noise isn't super helpful. Oh, but it is when the back ear, okay. Okay, in conjunction with the back, okay. Involuntary, so, involuntary, solitary. No, I, yeah, I don't identify with that. I like the, I like the alliteration, but I don't identify with that. Um, half empty, half full. That I do, I do. 60s damage. All right, that was, that, that was, both of those were drawing me anyway. All right, half empty, half full. And does it actually say... A side, B side on here. I mean, oh, that, that it does say that's the B side. Okay. All right. We'll go with the Benjamin Rose with half empty, half full. Oh, I need to shut up. It's a pretty vinyl. That's a pretty vinyl. Um, but it's also a clear vinyl. I will mention that every single fucking time. Opaque vinyl. Is better than clear vinyl. Oh, will I ever release music as a musician? I don't know. I'm working on new music. Um, well, we'll get to it. It relates to a story that uh, I have a name. Uh, major announcement from Artifact Entertainment coming shortly. Uh, and in honor of such a special occasion, I'm actually like opening. I actually got to. I will. It's three dollar. It's four dollar wine from Grocery Outlet, but this one's corked. Um, I hate when cheap wine is corked, actually, because then I'm like, fuck. Make me do work. Not, uh, coming up next, Rancid. No, I, I can play Rancid, but that's, it's,
Yes. Right, this is still half empty, half full, followed by 60s damage by the Gentleman Rose. Coming, uh, coming up at some point, not necessarily next, is Trash Sound Conglomerate, who is also playing tomorrow. Um, but this is 60s damage by the Gentleman Rogue. Oh, that tracks. Um, so I haven't played this yet for a variety of reasons, including the fact that, um, yeah, I tend to play the more, like, if it's going to, I while I'm not talking, okay, I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out. Okay, wow, I'm just, yeah, okay, I'm not, I'm not doing the news at all, I'm just, what am I doing? I'm just sitting here vibing and listening to music, that's cool. Um, well, while I do that for another minute, then let's just go ahead and...
I actually could pause this, I suppose. I'm actually going <laughs> to... I'm going to pause this for a moment. Um, I will pause while I finish responding to someone, and then the episode will, um, will return. See? Whatever I'm supposed to say to make that, like, I would, yeah, no, okay. Anyway, um, this is actually the end of the, okay. I'm going to play like a G6. I guess I'll play some stuff. I guess this isn't the end of the episode, but it kind of should be. Uh, yeah. Spot the karma. <laughs> Got it, we'll put it below, so. This is Disco Fries Remix, I don't know why. Yeah, I'm just in a disco mood. Duke and there's Karma. I don't know where Daisy is.
I'm like, where is that camera? Um, and I don't, yeah, I don't know if I explained, this goes out to Joe Biden at the G7 summit. So, G6 actually refers to the Gulf Wing 5, the G5 plane. They were like, well, this is a G5, which is a real plane. So, there is no G6, but there is a G7, which is the conference going on right now. Um, All right, so for real, I need to leave. Basically right now, um, the sky looks amazing over there, but if I want to catch the subjectives, I need to leave right now. Um, there's an opening band, because they're amazing. It's a little past seven. Um, they're playing at, oh, like a G6. episode coming soon. <laughs> wow, did I even cover it? Holy shit, yep.
it's still in maximum rotation because it's still in maximum rotation. This is Trash Sound Conglomerate because I promised that. And they're playing tonight. This is a show. I'm going to upload this before. Yeah, I mean, this won't. I don't think it's going to get anyone to show up at the show. This releases for Ian. This is. Uh, I think I played Miracle Science last time, so I'm going to play History of Class this time. Destinations is not letting shit pile up. Um, this is a Juneteenth bracelet. I got it my job. Um, this is another one. Um, oh, there's a cool button that says Nelson Mandela International Day. I was like, okay, yeah, no, I'm all over that. Um, Just making sure, um, yeah, I know. Uh, a couple of Juneteenth stickers. There are some Juneteenth events mentioned on, yeah, okay. Let's talk about Pride. Um, one of the most banned books in America. A Stonewall Honor book. Gender Queer by Maya Kababu. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if this is actually a queer book, but this is How to Ruin Everything by George Watsky. How do you make, make pink lemonade? How do you make pink Wait, no, seriously, how do you make pink lemonade? Um, okay. Um, Trash Sound Conglomerate playing tonight at the Kraken along with boo -boo -boo -doo, boo -boo -boo -boo. This is the end of the episode for show The Subjectives boo -boo -doo -boo, boo -boo -doo -boo. Please support local artists This is 34 out of 100 This is signed. I need to put this inside of a baggie. Well, uh, yeah. Um, yeah.
Yeah. Um, and then just very quickly, like, uh, Danny Elfman. Zane Taylor Swift, Fifty Shades Darker, I Don't Want to Live Forever, Fifty Shades Darker. Uh, here's a sicko poster. Crunchy. And every gun too. What is happening to me? Now I'm in a cat box. I know where your face is. What are we talking about? Boop, boop.
do like this song, but I'm not playing it. This is Halsey, but I'm not playing this. Oh, but also Halsey, proud to your medical conditions and you're doing well. Um, but that's not what we're playing right now. Oh my gosh, did I fuck up both of my meters? I didn't fuck it up, but this is, oh my gosh, um, this is not my fault. All right, we've reached the edge where, yeah, we're just... This is I-90. Um, bridge. B 
by Chastity Belt. Is this their fifth album? They have five albums now, is that correct? And the notes are just like a litany of like F slurs, R slur, yeah, okay. It's Eminem, be warned if I play more Eminem, but I, I don't think I, yeah, well, now I said I have to. by Chassis Bell off of Love, Laugh, Love. Speaking of Brian, Dead Bars, Shadow Cats, Choke the Pope.
Hmm. All right. I'm going to actually get ready for this show, which will involve actually getting ready for the show. Um, Um, this is liquor sick, and I might regret this. But this is what I'm playing. Like. By Brother Lynch hung off of this is the season of the sickness the resurrection. So all you motherfuckers wanna know where I stand. Nigga, I stand right next to my cousin in the mirror, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And that's all the block, nigga. Right. Oh, am I gonna end with Devil Town? Look right in the sky, you're some motherfucking slug. Some nigga done let one off, and only my cousin shedding blood. That broke this motherfucker from 29th Street, throwing up his flag. Some nigga got mad and went to the crib, so the police go back, return to the set up, and let my cousin have it. The nigga that died for the Gordon Block gang, did time for the Gordon Block, and ended up stuck in a motherfucking casket. But I don't be giving a fuck, I'm tapping up in your throat. Before you know it, I'm creeping up on you in a liquid dark black drop top blow in with a drug cat trunk and a trunk and a clip full of funk and a fat purple Chris blunt. So call it what you want. I call it the people of the phone cows. Jumping gay shells in that ass. Sleeping your face down, chest down with a gang of guts hanging out your ass. Nigga, you know the process. I'm day one to kill me now. I'm a dead man walking to my funeral. Can you feel me now? And if I die before your set gets blasted, that's on the gardens, I'm going to rise up out my casket. I'm 
ain't gonna be shooting in the motherfucking air, nigga. You taking out bones, you know? That nigga would have did it for us, you know? I gotta do what I gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Try to sit up here and do my music thing, you know? And my cousin got rolled well on, you know? Some nigga from the drawers gonna do nothing now. We all gonna get rolled well out. Like a fat ass punk, nigga. So what's up? My life on the line for this shit. They want to kill me because I'm rapping. You know what I'm saying? What's up, niggas? Dedication to my cousin Q. Rest in peace, nigga. To the mother motherfucker. Fuck peace. We're all hypocrites and immigrants. We're civilians and sick about. I know exactly where I want to go with this. Um, Immigrants and hypocrites. <laughs> yeah, no, I know exactly where I want to go with this. And this is immigrants and hypocrites. This introduction to lost hipsters. I'm just gonna play it all out.
to Cork City. One for you and one for me. We drown out the pain from polluted acid rain and flaming gasoline. Oh, and chill with me. Two dead police. One for hope and one for peace. Watching government lies leak into your empty eyes from no TV. And when it's history.
That is Stitcher Suture. And I'm, I'm going to play only three. Alright.
Oh my gosh. All right. Uh, oh, well, that's not the end of the CD. That's just the middle. But this is the end of this episode, which uh, oh, logical nonsense. I'm gonna close out with logical nonsense. Although, yeah. Oh. Oh, and this bike is a pipe bomb. Uh, you couldn't even get away with a sticker like this on my bike. I realized I had a... Wait, it was logical nonsense with... Mm. I would say gray scarf, but here's riot.
Logical nonsense song, but that is among them. Um, and this is this bike is a pipe bomb. Yeah, with the minimum weight song. Possibly followed by the creature and the slave. This could have been. Thanks for watching and boop boop bye bye. I'm going up to a show. I really am. I I really am. I am doing another thing. I'm doing two things in one day. Holy shit, two things in one day. Oh, not counting the one of two lost episodes with my dad. Yeah, Zoom. I pay for this shit. You're fucking up a lot, actually, because... Anyway. 